Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install free file sync. First thing you want to do is open up a browser. I'm going to choose Google Chrome to download free file sync. In the search bar, you want to type in free file sync. And you get better results if you don't put spaces in between the words. So just free file sync, no spaces, and hit enter. Okay, now the first result is from freefilesync.org and you'll see the little, um, like it looks like a recycling icon, that's the one you want. Click on it. Now you're at the main page for Free File Sync and you want to click download. Uh, all right, and now the downloads are listed here for Free File Sync. You can download for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and something else. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'll click the Free File Sync 12.1 for Windows download. Okay, now it's downloading. All right, and it's finished. So I'm going to run this executable, which is the installer. To do that, I'm going to left click. Okay, in the user account control, you want to click yes. Okay, now at the beginning of the setup, you'll see the license agreement. Read through it and click accept and then click the next button. All right, now you want to review the install location. The default is to install at C program files and then the name of the program. That's fine. Uh, just a warning down here, you need at least 55.1 megabytes of free space in order to install Free File Sync. Click Next. Okay, now so you can select some components for the install. The recommendations are usually fine. Um, the only thing is if you don't want a desktop shortcut, you can unselect it. Or if you don't want an item in the Start menu. I'm fine with all of these, so I'm going to hit next to continue. Okay, uh, now instead of an ad, here's an animal. A little bit of humor from Free File Sync. And just click next. Okay, now the installation is taking place. Completing the Free File Sync setup wizard. Setup has finished installing Free File Sync on your computer. Click finish to exit setup. So click finish. Okay. And we have finished the install process. We can tell because the shortcuts that we asked for the installer to create are now on our desktop. And free file sync is something that you definitely want to look into if you're copying or moving or syncing really large file sets. Okay, to demonstrate how Free File Sync works, I've created two folders on my desktop. One's called a source folder, which will be the source for our files, and then also a target folder, which will be where we're going to copy the files to. So the source file, or the source folder, has eight items in it, and we're going to copy these all to the target folder by way of using Free File Sync. So let's open up Free File Sync. Now this is the interface. And what you can do is you can open up both folders and put them side by side. Source folder is on the left. So you're going to put whatever files you want to copy. That folder is going to be on the left. And then on the right here is going to be your target folder. So you're going to be copying from left to right. Now for source, we could either type in the folder location or we can drag and drop our folder into line here. And then we'll do the same thing with the target folder. Okay, so you can just take your target folder. All right, so Free File Sync has automatically created the file path so we don't have to type all that out. Or you can use the browse button. There's a browse button and you can just navigate to the source folder and do the same thing with the target. But dragging and dropping is easier. All right, so now that we have those two locations all set up, 
we want to do a compare. This is going to show us the difference between each folder. All right, so after hitting the compare, we can see that the relative path or the source path has eight items and the target has zero items. Now in order to copy these, we're going to, we can do it a couple different ways. So we could synchronize, which is the default. So when you synchronize, anything that is in the left side but not on the right side will be copied over to the right and anything in the right side or the target side that's not in the source copied to the left. If you click the cogwheel, you can see the, the different variants or different ways of copying. There's also a mirror. A mirror is the simplest of them, which basically means it's not going to copy anything from the target folder into the source folder. You just want to copy files from point A to point B. And that's usually what I do. So we're going to select mirror and then we're going to hit OK. All right, now you can also check the filters before performing the copy. To do that, you're going to click this little red funnel. Those are the filters. And filters basically means that you can set up file patterns. So if there's certain folders that you don't want copied, this is a way to put those filters in. Now, the basic default is going to exclude what's here. So those files or files in those folders are not going to get copied if they exist. So you can hit OK. And then to perform the actual copy, you just hit the synchronize just confirming that you want to start this operation and click start. Then you can compare the folders again. Okay, and see both sides are blank because there are no changes between either one of them. So every time you hit compare, it just looks for differences. Since there are no differences, then there's nothing to copy. So if we go back to our source folder, we'll see that we still have the eight items. Then if we go to the target folder, we'll see that we have the exact copies. So this is a great way if you have a lot of files or a lot of data that needs to be copied and you don't want to rely on Windows to make any mistakes. Thank you for watching. Please remember to comment below, rate this video, and subscribe for more content.